M0FXB, welcome to my channel, ICOM IC705. This is a VHF UHF 6 meter radio with Wi Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, DPRS, and D Star mode. It's fantastic radio, it's easily one of my favorite radios in the shack. Now, it's, a, it's only a 10 watt radio when it's receiving. 13.8 uh, volt DC supply. It has a battery which is the same as the battery you'd have in the ICOM ID 51 and 52 and it's just fantastic. Look at this scope that we have here and we'll do some, we'll show you some live stuff in a minute. At the moment we're just looking at my uh, D-Star selection so to get into D-Star you just hold the DR button here. So that's your HF. Hold it down, DR button. There is a learning curve to using D-Star. You don't have to use it in DR mode, which is what we're in now, where you've got the hotspot or repeater down here, and that the two or where you want to connect to on the eight on the top section there. You can actually program in memory channels to do the same thing, but DR mode is so much better, and you can import lots of repeaters, and ICOM have made files and CSV files. The newly introduced thing with the, the latest firmware is this, if I just push the multi button here, you've got this new thing called monitor mode. So if I tap monitor mode here, so we'll look now, I'll just turn that on. If we're on a, a repeater that is connected to you know, the internet, then you can actually receive their transmission via the internet, no need for any antennas, but I won't go into that too much now. Let's just come out of DR mode. Go back onto, this is HF, I'll just get my HF antenna on. And it's always excellent receive audio and transmit audio on this thing, on this radio. It has a, quite a nice little microphone there, which is also a speaker microphone. Let's see if we can get some stations. You can see there, and now to change the frequency, you just tap the screen. Look at that. Choose the one you want, change the mode, tap the screen. Now, I know that Yesu are following on from this. Choose your mode, including digital modes. Now, you could digital modes. You can use FTA, FT4, all these kind of digi modes out of the box. Has a USB cable that just plugs into the side. Let's just show you the side. I can't remember. There you are. I'll clear. You can see that you've got the USB cable there. DC input. I'll show you the battery one. Showing you from behind. Battery, just ICOM ID 51 battery, and you can get a super duper one as well that will last a lot longer than this one. But this will actually go into my handheld. You know, there's the handheld there. And if I, I can literally just swap the batteries, if I take it off the handheld, put this on the handheld, and that's really handy. And I, I do really like the ICOM 52 as well. So let's just get that on there. I'm gonna Clip it in, don't push on the screen, turn it on, and away you go. So there's no problem with batteries. Program my call sign, I also program my boot up picture as well. We're back on air, now let's say we want to choose, go into VFO mode, just go memo, VFO. We're now in VFO, choose a band, let's choose two meters back out and we can have two meters we can have this you know the band scope on two meters if there's a if there's activity or something there make sure make sure we're in uh fm mode you can see we're in see it's trying to we're in dv there it's trying to switch so we just go like so choose fm now i think what's coming through is a sort of that's a local repeater Change the span so the scope looks a bit nicer. I'm back. There you go, not the cleanest Basically, signal. But that's it, and that's just VFO mode. We can just change with the large VFO frequency. Let's look at some of the menus. Go, uh, let's go, let's have a look now. Go scope. 
been a while since I've used this. You can have scope and and the audio scope, menu, audio. Now if I preach, if I hold down scope, we get both. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been on this one. There's audio. Let me just work it out for you. Yeah, it was just a, it was just a simple press. So I go back to HF. Should be able to get that in. LSB. There you go. So it was just a brief press of the M scope. And look, we've got the audio scope and the actual waterfall. It just looks fantastic, doesn't it? Let's turn it down. Just go to menu. Start looking at these different menus. You've got scope, audio, voice record. You've got meter function there. You get all your meters in there. Menu, SWR, graph. Works great. Just push it, PTT. And it will start to give you a graph when you, uh, as you key look. Let's go back into then you've got extensive memory and grouping there. Back out, get the scope back on. Let's go menu scope. There you go. If you want the audio, go menu audio, and then you just press scope and it comes on. Very nice menu scan a hot the scan menu is just extensive memory pad store memories quick record voice it does play back cw as well let's go to menu two dv memory you have to not be in dr mode when you're using dv memory so let's just exit there let's say you're in dr mode and you try and go into menu to into dv memory you can't make changes until you've come out of dr mode so you make changes and add dr memories for d star communication and analog actually you can do analog with that mode menu you've got your preset for ft8 so all your programs are already in there all your settings are already in there you can use them straight away dtmf yeah nice and easy if you've got a pre-programmed one there and it's now sending dtmf works great dv gateway now i recommend you use doozy doozy for that but you've got terminal mode access mode um, not had much success connecting to anything when using that but doozy you just put a usb cable in and connect to doozy and, and it just works straight away like you've got a hotspot at home but it's, you're just using a free program you do have to plug it into your computer I think that's covered most menu. I mean, the settings are extensive. Don't forget Bluetooth, GPS, all your CI, CIV connectors, log, display settings. The new one is the DV repeater monitor. That's a new thing for the new firm where you can add your own boot screen in this, come out of DR mode. When you get a GPS lock, you just tap the GPS and all these satellites show up. You can see it's trying. And then obviously Wi-Fi, very handy for different functions. SD card for saving and backing up. Firmware on this radio is very easy. This, this multi-function knob is very good. You get all these different extra settings depending on, on what mode you're in. So if we go into DR mode, hold down, and then we have different settings here. Center fix for your waterfall, how wide you want to span. Expand your waterfall, large or small. Two menus here. Reflector is, is uh, the, the sensitivity of your actual scope. You can change that without changing the RF gain. You can add a marker. So I think I pretty much covered it all. Vox, I mean, I've, I've actually set a, changed my Vox button to be a TX look, which you can do. But yeah, it does do Vox. And uh, it's, it's got some fine tune. It does speak to you as well. C, D, B. Push the button, it will speak to you. That's your history. Some shortcuts here. Memory pad, XFC for hearing the input. RT, RIT, XIT. Does that as well. So, yeah, just overall, it's just a fantastic radio. It's probably 
the best radio I've got in my shack. I don't really go for the big £5,000 HF radios. I prefer these kind of radios that are just sort of packed with functions. I like VHF, UHF and HF. I am trying to learn CW gradually. But I do like, you know, these gadgety type HF radios. But I like some of the older stuff. I've got the 818, the 857 and eight, nine, I think it's 7900 upstairs. I've still got older radios um, and all, all types, whether they're budget, like the Alens HD1 DMR or, you know, I've got, I don't really like spending more than about, to be honest, about £1,300 on a radio. Any more than that, then I, I'm not really interested. That's just the way I am. So bye for now. Thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on now. All the best. 7-3.